Good morning everyone, it's 10 to 4 in the morning on a Tuesday. Me and the big man Chris, we're off to Hollyhead Breakwater. We're going to smash the species hopefully, maybe get a few bigger species as well. But we're off, we're there all day, I'm going to be filming the whole lot. So enjoy and I'll see you on the other side. Stopped off for a little uh, refreshment and a piss. Here we are, the big man himself. Oh. What time are we on now? Five o'clock, isn't it? Five o'clock, please. Yeah, five o'clock. So, uh, just having a piss and then we've got about another, what, 45 minutes? Another 45, something like that. And yeah, then we'll be at the mall. We're going nice as well, so yeah. fingers crossed it will stop by the time we get there. Sound, right, so check in when we get there. What noise do you make to bring a seal in? Yeah. Has he? Mate, this is amazing. All right, so we made it. Here we are at the breakwater. We've walked quite a bit. The lighthouse is just behind me there. Um, there's another group of lads fishing down there. Uh, somehow they got their van on here. Didn't think we could, but they have. But oh well, we walked it. Uh, just setting up. Um, just about um, I don't even know what's going on here because it's our first time here. Obviously, I've never fished it. So we're just going to try a big bait, see what happens. And in the meantime, when I'm waiting for that to kick in. I've got my uh, my little rod with. I'm gonna have a, a few little bits of bait at the bottom, which I'm gonna be throwing down here, and hopefully get some little species for the fishing place. Come. Right, I've never fished this mark before, so I'm just gonna do a bit of trial and error. I'm gonna start off with a pulley panel. I'm going to put a grip on it first, see what happens. You know, if it's snaggy, it can always change, change the weight. It's a bummer. I probably don't even need a six. I probably, the current's not that, that strong at the moment, but we'll have a look at it. Right, so. Sometimes we'll go with do this. Fifteen minutes later. There we go. Always take your tag and tail. Never leave the line round. Right, well, Chris has got a nice little um, fisherman's kitchen going on. Let's see what he's got cooking. These, what are these, mate? Do you want to explain for the camera? Just a uh, shabiki, mate. It's just one six things, basically, and a couple of little maggots, red maggots, yellow maggots, 
little single white maggots on the next one and we've got a red and a white double red you know mixing it up a little bit let's see which one's catch what ounce weight are you using mate yeah, that's just a little three ounce weight mate lovely and what you're gonna you, you're just gonna jig it around or spin um, it in yeah i might throw it out a little bit cast it in a little bit see what happens jig it down the bottom see what comes up but brilliant then, basically we've got this little fella as well funny a little six foot rom well i'm using a big float with a mighty long little trace what have you got on the end of that? Little three hooks. Little three little blood worm on each hook. Some nice blood worm there, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we've got the two hook flapper. With some rag. You are ready to go, and then mate. We've got a pulley. Single hook pulley. With a nice bit of crab there. So you've got plenty going on there, mate. Right. Well, All we nice. need to fish now. We'll try everything, everything. Let's see. Let's give it a go. So, just got this little fella, landed him on crab, lovely, lovely fish, lovely markings. I'm going to get him back nice and safe, let's put him back, turn it some more, off he goes, nice and safe, there we go, if anyone knows what that is, don't forget to write in and tell me. <laughs> Chris is onto something, it's taking it for a, for a ride, he's got a float on. I don't know if you can see that down there. Let's zoom in a bit. No, it's back, the float's back there, I can see the float. God, it's so close, it's cool, it's cool. You got it? as well. I think it's a ras. Right, it's time to move. Yeah, water's got really low at this part of the breakwater, so we're gonna head down towards the lighthouse where the water's much deeper than and we've got a huge boat there and just steady people back for us just messing up they're coming in really close just messing up the fishing so we're gonna go down there so we've had doggies of ras it's doggies galore at the moment but we just gotta keep going through the doggies all right i think i think the big guy's ready so let's head on down there and let's see what we can get down there Right, so we are at the end of the breakwater. There's the lighthouse. We've already had a doggy each. We're just waiting for a few more bits and pieces. Hopefully, hopefully the big fish start to show soon. Um, the scenery is absolutely stunning. Can't stop it. But we're here for the scenery. We're here for the fish. So. Going on. This cruise boat's massive by the way. There's the boat spots here as well. So on that low tide there was nothing but dogfish and Chris managed to get a small um, starry smooth hound. So we came up with a plan. Back to the mighty Maisie for a smooth hound. Three tides in one day, we drove back from Anglesey and we've made it in time for the high tide 
on the mighty Mersey. We're going for smooth downs. Fingers crossed to pull one out because this case is doing my head in. But we're here, uh, two rods each. Uh, we've got crab, squid, um, black, lug, all kinds. So fingers crossed something comes out. Well, it's an hour before the high tide and I've had nothing but snap-offs, snags, it's not weed. Again, no smoothie, but, um, Joe, let's go see if we can see Joe. Joe over there, Joe Pass runs the fishing place. He had one, um, doesn't seem to be much else going on. But we'll see. Well, there was no smooth hound for me on that last session and that last tide of the day, but we did do it. We did three tides in one day, absolutely made up. I had a brilliant time with Chris, hilarious guy to fish with. It always keeps your spirits up. I just want to thank him for the journey. It was, you know, thanks for taking me down there. Thanks for fishing with me. And, you know, obviously with the, um, the bait and stuff, you know, we just threw everything together and we just we mucked in and got on with it. So thanks Chris, much appreciated. Can't wait to do it again with you soon. So don't forget, hit subscribe, hit comment, hit a like. Also, in the meantime, stay safe, tight lines, and hopefully we'll make another Away Days video soon.